hello beautiful people and yes i am back with another video this video will be all about on how to improve your credit now um little disclaimer i don't have all the answers i'm just speaking from my point of view and what i've done in order to increase increase my credit okay so one may ask sylvia what makes you qualified to tell someone how to improve their credit so me myself and this is quick disclaimer i'm not bragging about anything i've just worked very very hard in order to get my credit up to what it is my credit score currently is at 18. it always fluctuates between 18 815 in that area and i've been in maybe the 800s for about the last two years and i would say maybe like um the two years prior maybe a little bit of the two years i've been in the eights i've been in the sevens so um i know for sure when my husband got his car um which was about four years ago i was about 747 and right before that which was five years ago um six years ago we bought our house and i was around about five i mean sorry i was around about 7 45 so i have been consistently keeping my credit up in the 700 range for i would say at least oh my gosh because even at my last um place i was in the sevens as well so let's say about seven to eight years i've been in the sevens and i've been in the eights um for the last about two years okay so um let's start i did write down some notes here in my notebook and the reason i wanted to make this video because a lot of people don't know like they absolutely do not know anything about credit they um they just don't know i don't know if they don't have the desire to want to know but quick backstory on me my mom she was an accountant so growing up um she was an accountant major she was an accountant for a while a long time uh, when i was a child and growing up she has always been uh that person to always budget things and always um balancing her checkbook making sure the and i'm just i don't i don't know if it was a genes a genetic type thing that where it was passed to me or i just watched her so much do those type of things that um i don't know it's just a it's just a part of my life um and sometimes you have to be careful with it too because with budgeting and things like that it can kind of consume you and kind of stress you out so um if you're an accountant or a financial person you know exactly what i'm talking about first things first number one number one know your debt that is so important some people are walking around here with 500 600 um credit scores or even 700 that could be potentially 800 is just because they don't know who they owe like it is very important to know all the debt that you have knowing your debt who do you owe you have to know who you owe in order to get a hold on your credit and take control of it number two how much do you owe to your debt y'all y'all may think this is very silly but a lot of people do not know these things it is very important one to know who you owe and how much you owe it's no sense of oh i don't want to know how much y'all i don't want to know how much i owe I just know know your know your credit know your debts i'm sorry and know how much it is um and also just a little tidbit in there also know what your minimum balances is to pay off every month if that makes sense okay so like we have credit cards know what your minimum balances are every month because you need to know that next simply talk uh talk to the people um number three call the companies that you or owing that you're in debt with say you owe a thousand dollars right and you call them it's been years and you're like hey i just want to settle out this debt is there anything you guys could do for me okay um how about you if you could pay 250 dollars okay 250 dollars sure i'll go ahead and pay that off and um number four is 
pay off the debt as soon as you can. Now, I'm not telling you if you have a house note, you have student loans, even though student loans is one of those things too, but I'm talking more so about credit cards, car notes, those kind of things. Get them paid off as soon as you can. The sooner the better, the better your credit score will go up. But of course you guys know that, but I also want to tell you guys when it comes to credit cards, there's nothing wrong with having credit cards. Credit cards are actually an awesome thing to have. It's just that the way that you use them could potentially set you up for failure. So, with that being said, let's say, for instance, you have three different cards, five different, whatever, but the total of all those cards together equal, let's say, $10,000, $5,000, whatever. You, okay, so the, the credit bureaus look at how, what's the percentage of those credit cards that you're using. And the more that you use those credit cards, the lower your score, score will go down. So let's say, for instance, if I use one of my credit cards, I max it out for the month and I don't pay off the balance in full. Now, it's nothing wrong with you not paying the balance off in full as long as you're paying that minimum balance. But the credit bureaus will look at that and see like, okay, she has $10,000 total with credit cards and she's, util and she's utilizing, let's say, 40% of that. They're going to be like, oh, whoa yeah like no and your score will drop but when that is paid off that's why my mom was telling me it will fluctuate all your life when it is paid off your score will go back up i always tell people look i am cheap or frugal per se but i'm not broke and the reason it is is because i choose what i'm going to buy I try not to act off emotions and sometimes I do I'm human I act off emotions today is Cyber Monday and I kind of want to just spend money just because it's on sale but then you have to really think like hey is this something really I really need or yeah so don't think I'm just because I'm telling you guys this or because my credit score is 810 15 whatever that I don't make mistakes too I do make financial mistakes myself I do have debt that I still owe, but it's a way about, it. you know, it's a way about taking care of your debt. I have control, as I would say, over my debt. Like, my debt doesn't control me. That's the main thing, I think, is just gaining control over your debt and your finances. Like, if you know what's going in and coming out and you have control over that and it's just, it's just not weighing you down, then that is amazing but like i was telling you guys i really have to stop watching like people like dave ramsey because i have to be realistic and another thing is if you're in a household with you and your spouse you guys have to be on one page so i can't i i don't want i'm just already over the top when it comes to those type of things and that was just gonna push me way over i could see it because i was trying to adjust my life a little bit but i have to stay take a step back and say sylvia you're doing just fine. Keep progressing and eventually things will get better. So um, before I end the video, I just want to kind of go over with you guys a couple of um, high impact, medium impact and low impact things that are um, that potentially can, uh, uh, you know, affect your credit. High impact um, things that affect your credit are payment history. Alrighty guys, sorry about that, but one of my cards uh, got full. So basically what I was telling you guys about was the high impact. Um, we went over payment history, which is um, how often are you paying your, you know, your debts or bills. Next is credit card use. And basically what credit card use is, is basically, um, how, what is the percentage that you're looking at that you're using towards your credit card so the lower that the lower that number is the better because that will cause your credit score of course to go up and the higher the payment history score uh percentage is of course that will be that will be the best one in order to get your credit higher derogatory marks derogatory marks or of the devil <laughs> basically what derogatory marks is is let's say if you miss a payment you can get a derogatory mark for um uh missing payments paying late i think i'm not sure about that but i do know like if you go delinquent on things like say for instance if you're not paying something at all um, the people that report you like that to your credit bureau, those, those are derogatory marks. Of course, you want to stay away from those things. Um, medium impact would be credit age. They do look at that to see like, you know, how long has this person had credit and how have they done with it? So that's a factor. 
low impact would be your total accounts meaning how many accounts that you have that have credit or debt or whatever um another low in another low impact which was something that was um new to me was hard in inquiries i knew inquiries were an impact but i thought it was a high impact i didn't know it was a lower impact so that's a good thing and then new accounts also is a lower impact um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it helped someone um so basically in order to get a higher credit score and i wouldn't even pay you know how people are paying people unless you're like in deep 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 stuff like i would know because i mean that's not my situation but you know how people are paying people to get things off their credit you can do that just get one of those free um credit whatever apps or free annual credit report i know you can get a, a report go on that list and call people yourself look into that stuff yourself because you may be able to save yourself some money and like i said um I, i've several of times when it came to like medical things even like when i had my daughter like i called the hospital i'm one of those people my model growing up was you have not because you ask not so i'm not scared to ask anything especially when it comes to coins because i'm trying to save every penny possible that's just me okay so call and ask them hey um is there anything i could do in order to potentially get this bill like um cheaper than this or is any way i can get a discount or is it even uh, if i can get like a payoff request and most times companies will give you a payoff and they'll give you a great percentage off of it and if it's not something to pay off that they give you if it's not something that you you can't afford to say uh that will not work for me don't be scared to say no they won't take it off the table those people want some type of money so even if they're like um yeah you can pay 500 on a 1200 dollar whatever and you're like look that's still pretty steep for me and say well they may ask you what are you willing to pay and you tell them what you're willing to pay don't be afraid to negotiate because your credit is on the line and the quicker you can get that paid off the quicker your score can go up okay so i hope this video was very helpful um if you guys love videos like this and i love talking about finance and um uh, improving your finances you know like i say i'm not perfect but of course i've i've learned through trial and error on things that work and don't work for me but of course i am into improving um my finances i'm sure just like everyone else now quick shameless plug i do have a budget book and it is called the budget bible i now have a uh temporary website that i'll be using I don't know why this is shaking okay i do now have a temporary website that i'll be using which is sincerely sylvia.bigcartel.com and basically on there you can purchase my budget book eventually i want to put my custom weeds on there as well so i hope that this is this um book is helpful um it has a number of different resources in it so check that out and i don't want to prolong this video any longer so um i'm gonna go ahead and end it here like i said leave down below what you guys want to see next if it's about budgeting um saving credit um makeup hair whatever just leave it down below and i'll see you guys in the next video big kisses mm -hmm.